Before we get into this tutorial, I just wanted to say thank you to those who complimented my tutorial on how to add text onto HitFilm for Express. I'm happy that many of you liked it, and hopefully I'll be making more videos into the future um, related to that and something like that. So, again, thank you, and I'm happy many of you guys liked it. So with that being said, let's get into this tutorial on how to make awesome looking thumbnails for your YouTube videos. So the place where you're gonna make these thumbnails is a website called Befunky.com and it's completely free. You don't need to download any softwares. All you gotta do is go onto their website. So you can go onto their website by either into your typing Befunky into your search engine or just going into Befunky.com. I'll just type it down in onto Google so Befunky that's how you spell it then click on the first link this is what the website looks like to make your thumbnails you want to click photo editor which is in the top where these three boxes are and you want to click the left one and now you can start adding images and text and all the stuff now I'm not going to go into the details of all the effects and the editing tools you can use I'll just show you some of the basics. So first off, you're going to want to create a background image, which is like the background of your thumbnail. You want it something a little bright, not too bright, something that will catch the eye of a person if when they're looking for videos. So something a little bright. So you just go onto Google and you can look up an image. So I'm just going to search up a uh, green background. So that's pretty bright. You can catch someone's eye. Um, let's see. So any image really works. So I'll just go with this image. If this will load. Okay, I'll go for it with this image. It's kind of bright. So you're going to right click and save the picture to your file. Any file you want. I have one, so I'll go ahead. I have a whole um, folder called thumbnail pics, so that's where all my thumbnail stuff goes. So I'll just name it um, Green BC, which stands for background. I mean B G, not B C. Then you're gonna go back to photo editor, then click on upload. Then computer, and now you can look for us a green BG, and now you have your background image. But you're not done yet. What you're gonna first need to do is resize it to the thumbnail size. So that is 1280 by 720. So go on to edit, which is this uh, these little three columns with the circles where like you can adjust stuff. Basically, the second one down. Click on that. Then under essentials, you want to click on resize. Now to resize it, uncheck the check mark, and then change the width to 1280 and the height to 720. Then you can click on lock check mark the lock aspect ratio again, and then check mark. And now you're done with the background image. Now you can add all your images you want to, and add text. So I'll show you those two basic types of things adding images so let's say I want to add oh, excuse me you have to okay almost had to sneeze there so let's say you wanted to add a picture of a, I don't know a soccer ball for a thumbnail and then you can just go on to and find an image of a soccer ball this one's pretty cool now the important thing now this is the important thing when you're adding images. If I were to add this image, um I'll just show you what happens if I add this image. Wait, no, I don't want to email this. Okay, let's say I add this I added this picture. So soccer ball. Now look what happens when I add this image. And I'll show you again how to add this image. I'm just doing this quickly to show you the problem with this image. This 
this white background comes in the back, and you don't want that. I mean, you can always just cut it out and all, but it's just a pain in the neck. So you want to grab an image which has no background. So you see there's that white background in the back. You want to see something which has a transparent background. It'll have these um, check, like, kind of like a chessboard type of uh, background. So I'll go ahead and save that image. Um, let me just go ahead and save that again. So uh, I'll just name it Soccer Ball 2. Now I'll show you how to add it. Basically, uh, the second one is Edit. The first one is Layer Manager. You want to click on that, then click on Add Layer. And it'll bring you to your file and then just open up the image. And now you have it. Now you see there's no background and it fits right onto the background the page. So let's say you want to add text now. Now you can again if you want to add more images, just repeat those steps. And uh now you want to add text. You're gonna go all the way to the second to last icon, the A icon, which is the text. You click on that, then add text. Now you'll get. Now you can have all these proper properties to uh, adjust and make your text look the way you want it to. So let's say for the font family, uh, you can click. You can have a font from uh, what your computer has installed, or you can go to one of the Funky's fonts. They have plenty. And so let me just go ahead and type something in. Um, soccer is awesome. So I'll go ahead and enlarge that. Now I'll just give it to a font. My favorite personal font on this, which I usually use, is the. Where is it? This one. Comica Axis. Just for some reason, I just love this font. So I'll just put it over there. Then, you know, you can uh, change your font size and align it wherever you want. Then change the color of the text as well as change the stroke color. And if you want a background uh, on the third box, you can change the background. If you don't want any background, just change, change the intensity to zero. But again, I'm not going to go into too much detail. But that's basically how you create thumbnails for YouTube videos. Again, if you want to create more text, just repeat those steps. And there's a bunch more things, you, features you can edit to your like picture to make it look as awesome as it can be. So if I go into edit, if you scroll down, you see you can... Um, you can blur stuff, you can uh, tilt it, you can add colors, there's a bunch of things you can do. So that's how you create really cool looking thumbnails for YouTube videos. So to save your thumbnail, all you gotta do is, you can if you're once you're done, you just click on flatten layers in this uh, left corner, then you're gonna click save, which is to the right of upload, and save it to your computer, and give it a name. So I'm just gonna put whatever. Um, you can change the quality to whatever you want, but it's the higher the quality, the more the file size is. Then the format, just keep it a, a JPEG, and then you can save it to your files. You can save it to your desktop, wherever you want, and yeah, then you're done. So if you like this tutorial, um, please give this a thumbs up so I know that I should make more videos into the future uh, that's something like this. And if you, have, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more uploading, not posting, more amazing content like this.